Welcome back and today we're going to start on a very very quick and easy project. I've actually avoided this project for probably a year. Uh, I don't know why. It was so easy. We've had this uh, front tub area um, all taped up with like odd pieces of wood and other stuff and I don't know why I took so long to do this. This was like so so easy and I barely had to do any cutting at all um, actually um, Home Depot did all the cutting so the problem is that the plumber had to break the front part of this tub in order to get these uh, faucets in and the sprayer in. there was some leaking back there everything was cleaned up and taken care of and he did a great job we just never replaced the tile because it was completely tiled if you see in the beginning of the video you'll see some tile on the right side and i started ripping off the tile at like i don't know nine o'clock or something at night and my daughter was like uh what mom starts ripping off uh, tile at this time of night i i don't even know you so <laughs> she's hilarious but um anyway so we i decided to do this project uh, as soon as i got back from home depot i just could not wait to see if it all fit if my measurements were right and my measurements for my tub was uh 70 inches and a quarter by 19 inches and a quarter so what i did was i went to home depot and i got one of these bead boards um i was looking at the chip lap one but it costs like ten dollars extra this one right here costs i believe 24 dollars. the entire project costs about 36 dollars. now i was looking up uh panels for in front of a jacuzzi tub i honestly i don't know what brand this tub is it's a jet tub let's just say uh so i was looking for these and first of all they didn't have the size i needed and second of all, it was going to cost me $230, $240. I was like, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, this looks like you could just throw up something on there and, and you'd be fine. So now, having said that, I do have an access panel in the walk-in closet, which is to the right of this bathtub. So you can just go through there and, you know, if you need to disconnect the jets, if you need to get to it somehow, you do have access there. But... In the front, it's only like for the faucets and all that. So I decided to put this up. I did not use a whole bunch of glue. I only used a little bit of dots of here and there. I mean, it's not like highly trafficked or anything like that. So I'm not going to worry about it. And if we ever do have to get through it, it's only $34. You could always do it again. And plus they sell you the entire beadboard board which is huge so you can make like several of these uh, panels if you need to anyways i did get some pvc trim i got the one and a half inch by a quarter i believe it was and they sell you the entire stick but it was only eight dollars so we took that stick and it's very flexible so it will fit in your car or your van so we bent the whole thing i think it was about eight feet or ten feet long we took it we threw it in our van and we came home and as soon as I got here I really needed to know if this panel fit and it did I'm so happy and I had happened to have some silicone you can get some adhesive uh, at Home Depot or you can use other things if you need to have it come off often you can always use the 3M command hook um, little velcro pieces um, you can always use that so you can have access uh, if you need access quite a lot. I don't. So, you know, my my plumber did a good job. So I just put it on kind of semi-permanent. So that way I can just rip it off pretty easily without having to go through too much work. So I measured it out. I stuck it in there. I put some silicone on the studs that were there. I also got the trim cut down. My husband was nice enough to do that at nine o'clock at night. He didn't feel like it, but he did. And thank you for doing that. And I took those pieces. The bottom piece was obviously the 19, um, I'm sorry, the 70 and a quarter inch. But then you have to be careful with the trims that go on either side. Either side, you're gonna have to deduct the inch and a half of the bottom trim. 
So I had to cut instead of 19 and a quarter, I had to cut 17 and a quarter. So I went ahead and did that and it all fit pretty nicely. And I really like the way it came out. It just looks so, so nice and clean now. No uh, tape or anything on there. It just looks like a nice, nice, clean white tub. I love it. And this is a before picture. Isn't that gross? I don't know why they use clay down there. They just threw a whole bunch of soil down there. I guess that's normal. I don't know. If you like this, subscribe, like, and share. And I'm so happy to have you. And just wait. We have so many projects coming up. It's, it's crazy, guys. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.